Two balls, two strikes. And time is called. They called time because they knew Bob Bucher finally showed up in the television. <laughs> Hi, buddy. We just checked in and we heard you over next door uh, hawking free burgers. That's a big deal up here. Now. Yeah, this George Webb deal, man. 12 in a row. 12 in a row. Everybody gets a free burger. And the last time it happened was 87, Joe. That's right. Gave and away 170,000 burgers. 170,000 burgers. And there was a young 12 year old Craig Council who was here for the biggest game during that streak. And now he's the manager. Yeah. Here's Barnes. Nice play by Miley. A slide, a grab for out number one. How you doing? Are you, uh, you are. <laughs> my idol. I am what? <laughs> you are my idol. That's how I'm going to finish that sentence. Um, yeah, I'm what? I suppose he. Uh, Great to see you guys. I just Thank think you. this game and Bob Euchre, it, <laughs> the two go together so well. This game has kept you so young. This game has been so good to you. I know you like to make fun of your career and everything, but man, it's it's just a joy to be around you. I'm, um, I, I tell you what, I, I love this game, Joe, and you know that, and Johnny, I've been around you guys for a long, long time um, in St. Louis. Lucky to be there in 64 when they won the World's Championship. Uh, and everything that's taken place since then, everything revolves around baseball. And, you know, I saw it with my father. I, I saw an aging man who couldn't get enough <laughs> of being around younger players. And I saw how it, it just pulled him down in a good way toward the toward the younger set and I see you in the clubhouse these guys can't get enough of being around you as the count evens at two and two I, I love seeing players come up to you they 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 know how special you are that's cool to me. well I, I've had a great time doing it and talking about your dad who is a great friend and, and one of the greatest ever that's a fair ball where you uh, it Mustakis makes the play for out number two but you know, being around your dad, if you didn't enjoy being around your dad and enjoy baseball, then you were, you, you needed to do something else. You didn't like sliced bread either. Um, but, you know, to be around these guys, they do keep you young. And yesterday, and throwing out the first pitch. Now, I knew if I didn't go to the mound, they were really going to get on me about it. So right. I, I did that and um, had a good time, and everything was great. But you did warm up. Yeah, you I, did. Have, I have inside information <laughs> that you went and threw for about 15 minutes to make sure that you could basically get it to the. Point. I did. Yeah, I and I didn't want to put too much on it because council had a game to manage. I didn't want to take any chances doing that. So it. Uh, yeah, I threw him a lob shot, and yeah, he's he's one of my favorites. I've known him since he's a little kid. Long time. Yeah, because his father was in the, the front office. Yeah, there. he worked in the PR department. And so he was a little boy around the ball club and was actually there in St. Louis the last time and the only time the Brewers were in the World Series. Exactly. Yep. As a 13 year old. He's, he's a good one. Um, one of those guys that I remember a few years back when Mark Atadazio was talking about a change and, um, you know, manager with Ron Renicky. And I remember talking to Mark about Craig Council, and I said, you know, if we bring anybody in here, we got to bring Council down here first. Well, here's a strikeout of Taylor, a one-two-three inning, and we'll continue in the bottom half with Bob Euchre. First pitch swinging, and Arcia flies into left for Kemp. One out. All right, Euchre, I don't want to burst your bubble or kill your image. I know you were a very good defensive catcher. I know they rounded up to get your career batting average to 200. <laughs> All that stuff. Uh, a native Milwaukeean who was the first native Milwaukeean to be a Milwaukee Brave. Yes. A world champion. You've been broadcasting with the Brewers since 71. 48 years. This is 48. Unbelievable. Yeah. You you do. I want to do something for Brewer fans and Packer fans <laughs> along those lines. I'm going to get up and leave. You Could I ask you one question you before you leave? No. How did you get here so quick from the football game the other day? Uh, did you drive? You didn't yeah, drive. I drove, no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't drive. Fox flew me. I'm out of here. You pick it up. Go. All right, Joe. Thank you very much. Absolutely. With Wade Miley now. Rio. In and over a strike on a fastball. Smolsey, I'm happy to work with you too, man. Always one of my favorites. What were you thinking when Woodruff hit that home run yesterday? I didn't even, 
it. It was no cheapy either. Oh, he hit my. Coming back, a breaking ball, and he missed a little bit high. Even now, at a ball and a strike. You were an outstanding pitcher. You're a great pitcher. You, you had to feel good about that, didn't oh you? Oh, my gosh. It's the greatest feeling in the world. And I was telling him after the game, or today. It came down the left field line. Wade Miley will turn, and he's going to try for two. That ball got away from Kemp and left. Now that had to make you feel good again, right there. Yeah, anytime you can help yourself or make it tougher on the opposing pitcher. And look, this is a ball down the other line. That's a Glavin special, as we called it. <laughs> and that ball gets away from Kemp, and now they get a chance with a runner in scoring position. But I think anytime you get a chance to frustrate the other pitcher, put a bunt down, or in this case, get a hit, as we see Woodruff <laughs> cheering on the boys. It's a good feeling. But what I was saying is, if that inning was quick after hitting a home run, it is so hard to go back out of pitch after the adrenaline rush. He said that long inning helped him a lot. I'll tell you what, he's, he's one of the better throwers in the league. He's, he's up in the upper 90s all the time. But uh, the power that he showed, Lorenzo Kane, a strike on the outside corner, the, the power that he showed, and I, I got a bigger kick out of him in the dugout when yeah. he was in there popping hands and punching people and everything else. One of our guys ended up on the disabled. <laughs> <laughs> one strike on Lorenzo Kane. Brewers with a runner at second. And one man out here in the bottom half of inning number three. Kane is swinging a miss. Rio, a little better fastball that time. Nothing in two on him. Well, this is where Kane gets tough. Two strikes. Unlike really overall baseball that has one swing and that doesn't deviate. Kane will do everything he can to get the ball in play with two strikes. He has a lot of pride and the ability to put the bat to the ball. He's one of those guys that uses the whole field. You're right, Smokes. Yep. And they play him slightly to right. Gap in left center field for him. Took one a little bit low. Ball one and strike two on Lorenzo Kane. And I really think that's as simple as he's played the game long enough where the reward system for him was not launch, lift, strikeout, walk, and homer. He played on a championship team that really modeled the Kansas City Royals about finding the ball with two strikes. Rio all set. One two offering on Lorenzo. Half swing did he go and he did. And a strikeout to Lorenzo Kane. He tried to hold up but he just couldn't keep the barrel from behind the plate on a really good pitch down. And now I know it's a left hander as you see Kane reaction. I know it's a lefty on left situation here, but it's also the MVP of the league is up. I'll tell you what, this guy against some of the harder left handers throwers in the league, either league for that matter, it doesn't bother him. It doesn't make any difference. A little high with the fastball from Rio. Now, having been on second base in these situations as a pitcher, you're hoping a double is hit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> One ball and no strikes. <laughs> Yelich. Mace hit his first time up. Rio coming back. Smash on the ground the first. And it's going to be played easily by. David Freeze. This was a pleasure. Good being with you, Johnny. Really great being with you and Joe. Thank you very much, guys.